In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. Question 10 is a collection of tax questions. Part A starts off with um, a person named Joseph. They have a gross income of 48,000. They pay a, a bunch of taxes. They pay income tax, 7,650. They pay PRSI, 1,920. And USC, uh, 1,407. So they, they just ask you, what is their net annual income? So they're really asking you, what does that mean? Uh, your net annual income is just how much money you actually get into your bank account. Think of it that way. Uh, your boss says, this ain't what you get paid. Well, really the government take all this. Uh, so how much actually gets to you at the end of the day? It's this minus these three. That's it. So this, on your, on your calculator, this number, take away this, take away this, take away this. And all that equals uh, 37,023 euro that's a, a part one no, nothing too difficult and um, part two then asks us to put this your your net annual income as a percentage of your gross annual income that would be useful that'll tell us uh, how much of our money did we actually get to keep um so forty-eight thousand is the starting point uh, we can do this really quickly Forty-eight thousand divided by oh sorry thirty-seven thousand and twenty-three divided by 48,000 multiplied by 100 to get percent. I'll do it slowly. Um, I think there's lots of, going to be lots of percentage questions in this, uh, in this question. Um, I'll do the rest of them a bit quicker. But do this one slowly. 48,000 is 100 percent. So what is 37,000? Well, to get from 48,000 to 37, we go through one. Divide by 48,000. Do the same here. 100 divided by 48,000. To get from 1 to 37,000, multiply by 37,000. And do the same here. Multiply this by 37,000. Yeah. One moment, lots of uh, digits here, 37,023 to be exact. Put all that into a calculator and uh, round it off to the nearest, yeah, nearest percentage and you get 77%. So of uh, your 100% of your money, you only got to keep 77% of it. Or I guess you could think of that as they took 23% of your money to taxes. Okay, for part B, uh, we are going to work out two people's taxes. Um, part one is gonna be Olivia. Uh, she has a gross um, income tax, a gross annual income of 34,000 and she has a tax credit of 3,550. And then how the tax system works in the year they're talking about, 2023, the first 40,000 they earn gets a tax at 20%. The rest, or they say the balance, gets taxed at uh, 40%. So anything more than 40,000 will get taxed at this number. We don't have to worry about that for Olivia. She gets paid less than 40,000. So all of this 34,000 is, it. Which, which, which pile is it in? It's in this 20% pile. So let's uh, work out how much tax um, she has to pay. 34,000 multiplied by, let's, let's use an X for multiply, uh, multiplied by 20%. That's 20 over 100. So what is that equal to? That is equal to 6,800 euro. That's how much tax Olivia owes. But there is uh, certain considerations. There's a tax credit. Everyone gets, uh, you, some people get more tax credits than others. But anyway, the tax credits Olivia gets is 3,550. So she doesn't have to pay all this tax. She gets to take away 3,550 and that leaves her with a tax bill of 3,250. Now, so many students leave this as their answer. Um, they, they're forgetting to do the last thing. They didn't ask for how much tax she paid. 
they ask for the net annual income. So you take her starting amount, 34,000, minus her taxes, 3,250. And what does that leave you, her total annual income? I'll see it here somewhere, uh, 30,750. That's how much Olivia earned. In part two, instead of uh, Olivia's 34,000, we have Caroline's 50,000, and she has the same tax credits of 3,550. Now it gets a little more interesting here because Caroline earns more than the 40,000 limit. So what happens here is Caroline gets two piles of tax. The first pile is 40,000 taxed at 20%. The rest, well, how much more than 40,000 did she earn? She earned, well, let me write some of this down. So the first pile, she has to pay 40,000, all of this 40,000 at uh, 20%. Let's write 20% as 0.2 this time. It's the same, by the way. 20 divided by 100, 0.2, same number. Uh, but then she also has to pay tax on the rest of her money. So she's, she's dealt with the first 40,000 here. Now she has to deal with the rest. That's 50 minus 40, that's 10,000. She earned another 10,000 and that she has to pay 40% uh, income tax on. So how much tax does she have to pay? 20% of 40,000 is 8,000. She has to pay that tax, but then she also has to pay another 4,000 from the higher bracket. Uh, add these together, we get 12,000. That's how much tax she owes until her tax credits. Do the tax credits at the end. Take the tax credits away. Uh, have I done that somewhere? Bear with me. Uh, yes, uh, if I take 12,000 minus 3,550, I get 8,450. That's total, total amount of tax uh, Caroline has to pay. But remember, uh, they didn't ask for the tax, they asked for, I'm sorry, they did ask for the tax in this question. Yes, they didn't ask for her income. They asked for the tax. This is your final answer here. If they wanted her income, you would just take this number minus that. In part three, uh, they, they tell you, they remind you that the tax credit uh, for an employee in Ireland, the personal tax credit, is 3,550. It's the number we used for the previous two examples. And they're asking you to find the greatest amount of income an employee can earn before they have to pay any tax. So basically, how much money can they earn before they pay tax? We've seen Olivia earned 34,000, she paid tax. Caroline earned 50,000, she definitely paid tax. So if we stay going down, and you could just do this, you could do another five questions. 34,000, try 30,000, try 20,000, try 10,000. Find out when they would pay no tax. Um, but we're gonna do that a bit smarter here. Because we're gonna realize there's an amount of tax you can earn that then you get, you get to take 3,550 away from it. Okay, so basically we wanna know how much a person has to get paid to pay 3,500 in tax, uh, 3,550, sorry. That's the important number. Because we, we get to not have to pay this much tax, if you follow me. So there's, there's a certain amount we can uh, get paid, and let's say that's X. We get paid X the amount. Uh, it's definitely less than 40,000, by the way, because we know uh, Olivia paid tax on 34,000. So there's a certain amount X that if we pay 20% tax, 0 0.2 times X, that will equal the maximum we can earn for free. So that's really what they want us to do here. They want us to get this equation and solve it. Um, let, me, let me say that one more time there. Um, feel free to pause, rewatch what I said. But there is an amount of money you can earn that you, pay, that you will only have to pay this much tax. And your tax credits take care of it. So now you'll earn no tax. And that number is X. I don't know it yet, but it should follow this equation. So if we solve this, X will equal, let's divide both sides by 0 0.2. Divide by 0. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a five, uh, 0 0.2. And that will equal 17,750. 
So one last time, what I'm saying is, if you earn this much money, you have to pay tax at 20%. 20% of this number is equal to 3,550. And then your tax credits take away from that and you have to pay no tax. So I found that by just knowing this equation existed. We used it previously last two times. Hopefully, hopefully that's clear. If it's not, ask me, ask me in the comments below. I'll do my best to clear up any, uh, anything else. Now, question three was a, a bit tricky. Uh, question four, I think is even trickier. They tell us that in 2024, the tax credit is gonna go from 40,000 to 42,000. And um, it's still gonna be at 20%. So they want you to work out how much extra tax or how much less, sorry, how much less tax a person earning more than 42,000 would pay. So it's a really tricky one. Um, let me split the world in two here. On the left, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm just thinking maybe I should just pick a number bigger than 42,000 because I think uh, people will understand. But no, I'm gonna put down 42,000. Uh, yeah, let's put 42,000 plus something. Let's, uh, let's put plus X. And this is in 2023. And this one is 2024. This person's gonna earn the same, the same number, 42,000 plus something else. Uh, as it turns out, we don't care what this number is, by the way. It doesn't matter, it's just more than 42,000. Um, and you don't have to put this in, you'll still get the answer. I just, I think it's better to show you this way. So in 2023, the person would have to pay tax on the first 40,000 at 20%. That's 40,000 at uh, 20%. Then they'd have to pay tax on all the rest. And that'd be 2,000 at 40% plus another X at 40%. And then they'd get to take their tax credits away, whatever the tax credits are. Again, as it happens, these two numbers really don't matter. So don't worry if you don't have these in your answer. I'm just uh, trying to be complete when I do it. So in 2023, they had to pay 20% of 40,000 and 40% with everything else. But we don't know how much more than 42,000 this person earned. So let's do 2020, sorry, this should be 24. In 2024, they paid 42,000 at 20%, plus everything else is now simply just X times uh, 40%, and then take away the tax credits, uh, 3,550. This again, more mistakes, this should be 50. So what they're asking is, how much smaller is this number than this number. What's the difference between them? Well, this, this number is the same, so they cancel each other. This number is the same. That's why you never have to write them. All that's important here is this, this number is gonna be different than this one. Here we get uh, 8,000 plus uh, 800. So that's 8,800. That's how much tax they would have owed um, on the first 42,000. They would have owed more tax here and they would have got away with some tax here, but I don't care because uh, it cancels on both sides. This time they would have just ha had to pay 8,400 plus some more tax minus this one. But you hopefully you can see there is a difference between uh, 2023, they had to pay 8,800 plus more. In 2024, they had to pay 8,400 plus the same more. So how much less tax did they have to pay? The answer is 400. This number minus this one. 400 is the answer to part four. That's a really tricky question. I, I, at least I thought. Um, the numbers aren't too difficult. It's just multiplying and a little taking away. But I thought that was a, a pretty difficult question. Rewatch it. Just watch it a couple of times. And remember, there's always gonna be a question or two in the exam that's just hard to get your head around. Don't worry too much, move on. It's okay to get 98% instead of 100. It's okay to get 65 instead of 63. You know, just move on. Don't let it ruin your whole exam. Okay, in part C of this question, they tell us that an employee, who, an employee who works from home is allowed to get tax relief from the electricity and broadband bills. 
and they give us this equation here. The amount of tax relief they're allowed is equal to electricity bill plus the broadband bill multiplied by D divided by 365. D is the number of days they work from home. And multiplied by 0 0.3 or 30% really. Um, and they give us an example, Anne. Anne has a electricity bill of 1,950, broadband bill of 400, and she works from home 120 days of the year. How much tax relief can she get? Just simply put it into this equation. This equation up here tells us A is equal to 1,950 plus 400, that's electricity plus broadband, multiplied by D is 120 over 365, multiplied by 0 0.3. Make sure to add these together first on your calculator. This plus this, that's 2,350. Multiply by 120, divided by 365, multiply that whole answer by 0 0.3, and it should come out as, let's see, uh, 231 euro and 78 cent. They asked you to round it off to the nearest cent. So there was actually more, there was more here, but to the nearest cent, it was uh, 78. Then somewhat similarly, they have a, a girl named Tara and uh, she works from home a number of days. We don't know the number of days Tara works from home, but they do tell us the final answer for Tara. She gets a tax relief of 135. So instead of A, they tell us the answer. They tell us what A is. A is 135. And then they even tell us what the electricity and the broadband is. They tell us that is 200, uh, sorry, 2,250. They, so here, this equation I'm working off, they tell us the answer. They tell us electricity and broadband together. They don't tell us D. They, 365 is still in the equation. Uh, 0 0.3 uh, is still in the equation. It's the equation, everything's known here except for D. Let's just rearrange it and move everything over the left hand side. Divide both sides by this number. So 135 divided by 2250. Multiply both sides by 365. 365 comes over this side. Divide both sides by uh, 0 0.3. And what's left on the right hand side? Just D. I've, we've moved everything else away. So D is equal to all of this. Put that, all that in a calculator, just be careful. Uh, if you put all that into a calculator, you get uh, 73, which uh, makes about sense. Always make sure your answer makes sense. Um, they worked from home for 120 days and got this much relief. Uh, they had a, yeah, they had only a slightly bigger t um, bill. This person got much less relief, 130, let me stand up here, 135 instead of 230. And that's because she worked from home less. So the answer sort of made sense. If you had got an answer of a uh, thousand, you should know something's wrong because D could never have been bigger than 365. That's it for question 10. It's also, that's it for paper one entirely. If you have any questions for this question or this paper, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.